Welcome back to another video tutorial. My name is Zell Music for those of you guys who don't know me. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the piano for producers who really don't play the piano that well. Um, this is inside of Studio 1.5. Um, but this will work for, I believe, Studio 1.4, 3, Professional. Um, so basically, what I'm going to show you guys is a tool that I use that makes it really easy. All right? And that's called the Unison MIDI Wizard. If you guys don't know what that is, you guys got to check it out. It's kind of expensive, I'm not going to lie. But it's the most helpful tool it's fast um and it's quick for those of you guys who don't know how to play the piano comes out with great it's a melody generator it's a chord generator so i'm gonna use that i'm also gonna for those of you guys who don't have the money to afford something like that um i'm gonna show you guys how to just do it out of studio one through the piano roll um some some tricks on there but it's much easier using this uh unison midi wizard so if you guys haven't already subscribe to this channel hit the like button let's get straight to it so I'm going to go ahead and just drag over contact. Let's bring out the gentleman. I'm not going to set any settings for the sound of that. It's just a regular piano, grand piano. And then I'm going to pull up Unison. And I'm going to drag and I'm going to drop. So this is what Unison MIDI Wizard looks like. This thing is crazy. So I'm going to go down here and uh, actually it's on medium already. So the first thing I'm going to do for my contact is I'm going to go to all inputs and go to Unison MIDI Wizard. So now it's connected to that. Then I'm going to make sure the blue and red stays on, the monitor and the record. But I'm going to hit the piano right here. Now, as you can see, I already have five bar or four bars set up. Let me get off the browse. I have four bars set up. I have my metronome click on 120. That's fine to me. Um, so first thing I can do is I can set a genre. So let's just say I'm going with R&B. Um, and then I could set a key so I can let's just say I'm doing C minor and then I could set the style to chords or melody I'll leave it on chords for now like I said I have four bars and then a transpose so these are the higher notes the middle notes and the lower notes. so I'm gonna leave it in the middle just to see what we get and then I press this button and mr. wizard goes to work and then I'm gonna play it Now that sounds great, right? But if you don't like it, you can do it again. Now let's say you don't like this last note. We can highlight these. You can either highlight half and press the button, or you can just, we can highlight full and press the button. It'll redo that last note for us. Or last chord for us. Right? So, boom. You have that. So, once you have what you wanted, I'm going to go with that first one that I had. I liked it. That was more simple when I liked it. You drag from here and drop it onto the contact or wherever your keyboard is. So, now, um, we got to turn it off, the unison, and go back to all. Otherwise, it'll just duplicate loud. And let's play it. Now, here's my trick. Now, what we have to understand when you double click and go to the piano roll. Let me turn this off because this is my second way I'm going to show you guys. Um, but now we got to make these notes more realistic. Because they, they're all um, velocity on the same. So the first thing I do is I click the macros. This button right here on the piano roll. And... I go to Velo, which is short for velocity, and I randomize 25%. What that did is that just made the notes its own random, but no less than 25% where it's at now. So we have a bunch of random uh, velocity, and then to make it more realistic, well, I'll play that. Much more smoother than what it was. Let's see, some of the notes I need to adjust. So first thing is when you click and highlight, you can see, I'm going to turn this off too, by the way, the toggle snap, because it snaps on the lines. I don't want it to go that far. I'll go like there. I'm grabbing it from the beginning and just slowly bringing them back. So it's strums. Might even do it a little closer. Yeah. Then I'm going to turn this down, because you hear that note kind of loud. There we go. 
See the hardness in that? Sometimes I'll even. I'll even leave that like that. Sometimes it's good to have a little soft, a little hard. So this is all I'm doing, just creating strums. And that's how you do it. You could try different ways. The high, usually I put it in the back, but sometimes I just switch it up. And you don't want to turn this note off, and you don't uh, you don't want to scoot this note back, and you don't want to really scoot this note back. But you can. You just need something to base it. All right, so I like that. Boom. You saved. So now let's just say you want to throw a melody over that. Let's just uh, go back to the browse. And let's go back to the contact. Add that in there. Bring the gentleman in there again. Now you're like, okay, what kind of melody do I do? You can either do it manually from your own or go back to Unison MIDI Wizard on this one. Click the piano. And this is saved, so you can get rid of this. Go to Melody. I'm going to leave it on R&B, but we could do any other genre. And this one, I'm actually going to do high um, on 12, so you can hear those notes. I like that. This note right here got to go. Let's see what it does. So I'm actually going to keep this, but watch how I serve it. So I'm going to bring it over to there. Let's turn it off so it doesn't duplicate loud. Again, we haven't adjusted the piano or any of that. So I'm going to just do the velocity. Another quick way to do the velocity if you don't want to always have to go to piano rule. I just click right here. Um, you, I click the um, file, the track, go to the macros, go back to global music editing where I was at, go to um, Velo, randomize right there. So now it's randomized as you can see by one click of all that instead of highlighting them. Now, only thing you got to make sure is that the notes that you want to get heard, get heard because it's So this right here, I'm dragging them out. Still got my um, toggle snap off. See, holding it. And I'm going to turn this note down a little bit. So what? All that was what? Two minutes? Three minutes? Imagine if I didn't explain nothing. So boom. That's on. And we have... Um, uh, that's that's one way to do it, right? So you can do this with every genre, any genre you want. Um, if you guys want to see more on that, you guys, I'm gonna make some more videos on that. But here's the other way. So let's say you don't have the MIDI wizard. Let's just go ahead and hide the MIDI wizard, and let's just say you're all by yourself. Let's mute these. So what's the other way, Zell? I got you. So double click to create. Um, you know, a piano roll, then double click that track. So now you're in the piano roll, blank piano roll. And here's what I was talking about over here. So here you can actually still select which ones you want to use. You can't use a MIDI wizard, obviously, in here. Um, but this is the contact run. Um, let's do a scale lock. So now, and I have it on C minor. If you do on chromatic, it won't work. Every one is still going to be open. But let's do a made, let's do. Let's do minor, actually. Go to natural minor. So when you're doing major and minors for the scale locks on here, do a major or a natural minor. If you do me harmonic or me melodic, me pause, melodic, uh, <laughs> harmonic or melodic, all right, um, then, yeah, that's you're going to struggle a little bit because it's not the minor you're looking for. So, yeah, I'll keep it on minor, natural. So now, as you can see, these notes adjusted. I'll scoot in so you guys can kind of see where I'm at. Now, if I hit this white, it won't play. If I hit this, it'll... Oh, wait. Hold on. 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 Hold on
Hold on. Oh, that's why it wasn't on. So if I hit the white, it won't play on that. It'll only hit. See, I won't hit this black. So what I do, I'll start on C. And I'll make a note. Let's go back on the snap to grid. Boom. So now, I'm like, what do you do with this? There's two ways you can start forming a chord and stuff like that. So one is you could just click another random blue. And see if that goes. If you don't like that, go up. Ah, so that's cool. And you can add another one, a third one. Let's see how that sounds right there. If you don't like that, keep trying. See? Boom. So you know. You see? It won't play this. Hold on. It's not playing this. Boom. Now, another way you can do it, let's just say, um, let's just say we going back with this. Go to double. Make sure your music editing macro is on. Macro music editing. Go to double. Go to create chords. Minor triad. See? So you just got to know what your root note is. So, uh, 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 so we can go. Uh, bring that out. So uh, uh, go to double and create chords minor. See what I'm saying? And then so. So, um, mm, create a minor triad. You could even probably do a minor seventh chord. Let's hear how it sounds. Ooh. So, you see that? And then let's, uh, uh note, root note. Mm. Yeah, let's start that. Mm -hmm. That'll be the root. It's highlighted. Double. Let's just go minor. That's off. Okay, so that's off. Let's try double minor or minor seventh. So here's where the um, scale lock really comes into play. So I don't know where... Okay, let me see. I'm going to duplicate. Boom. That sounds like it's going to go... That sounds like... Okay, so that sounds like it'll go. Let's see. Yeah, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. So, boom. Now you got chords. And now, so you just basically, if you want a low root note, you're just following these notes. This is C3, C2. Um, this is the lowest root is G2. G1. And then the next one is. Dun. I hope this makes sense. Oh, dun. So, this, even though I started the root note. Oh. Okay, I actually didn't. So, the root note is G again. Because I thought the root note was going to be up here, but it really went to G. You guys will run into that too. So then once you have that, you're going to click. Let's go to velocity. And let's go to 25%. So just randomize it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Oh, it only randomized. 
Let's see. Oh, it randomized. Hey, Siri. It randomized. Uh, Let me see. Boom. All right, it did it. Just wanted to make sure. I'll leave the um, root notes there. Now I do the strumming. It's the same thing. Even another trick you can do with the strum is like, for example, like I'm going to turn the toggle snap off. You can highlight the notes that you want. Even I can press that and we can just scoot these back where we want those to go. We can do the same for our second notes, so on, so forth, right? Hey, why is there two notes there? Be careful. Make sure you don't do the two notes thingy. I'll leave it like that. Make sure that velocity. See that? That's nice. It's nice. I'm gonna turn. Let's see how that sounds. So you can see how important it is to have velocity um, and how it helps with with the tone. Like it's just soft, hard. So it creates like human, you know, a real human type of vibe and strumming it. Another thing, they have a humanizer right here. I barely use it because you can see sometimes the notes come in front, sometimes they come behind, but you can, I'll let you hear it. So it's too much for me. I don't like that. I'd rather be the human that's doing it on here. So same thing with the melody you would do on there. So this is how you use the piano. Again, this is called the Unison MIDI Wizard. This is how I do it. Money for the wizard, I believe it's like 400, 500. It's, it's somewhere up there. But this thing right here, it generates all genres. Literally, you can't go wrong from trap to drill to... Like soul, reggae, everything. Hip hop, rap, gospel, funk, everything. So um, I hope that this video helps you guys out.